Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to look at how to properly read a burette. A burette is most often used for titrations in acid-base chemistry. Now this is different from measuring volume using a graduated cylinder, because when we read a burette, it isn't going to tell us the volume currently in the burette. So it doesn't measure the real volume, but instead it determines the amount added from the burette into the flask. Most burettes measure from zero milliliters to 50 milliliters. And we're reading from the top down. Let's do an example reading together. So we'll start by filling our burette with whatever solution we're using. You can fill it close to the top, but don't fill it past zero. Then we'll get to eye level with the surface of the liquid and read at the meniscus. Now our number is between 0 and 1. Remember that we're reading from the top down, so our first decimal place will be 4, and then we can estimate the next digit. So our second decimal place is our uncertain digit. You should record to the second decimal place to make sure that we have the most precise measurement possible. So our 0 0.47 milliliters is the initial volume. The next step will be to collect a sample of liquid and then measure the final volume. So again, we're going to get to eye level with our liquid and read at the meniscus. Now when we read from the top down, we should record 24.7 and then our uncertain digit, which we'll estimate as 8 milliliters. So our second reading also has the uncertain digit in the second decimal place. And this will be our final volume. Let's go over these steps one more time. So first we measured the initial volume. In this example, it was 0 0.47 milliliters. Then we opened the valve and dispensed a certain amount of liquid into the flask. And then we measured the final volume, 24. 0.78 milliliters. Now we want to find the total volume that we added into the flask, which will be the final volume minus the initial volume. 24.78 milliliters minus 0 0.47 milliliters equals 24.31 milliliters. Our uncertain digit is still in the second decimal place, so our total volume has four significant figures. And that's how you read a burette. 